the speaking of the tongue magnifies and glorifies the Father. Magnifies is not a chorus. It's not a bridge. Amen. It's not in a song. We magnify him because he's magnified in us. Mm -hmm. I told you that Paul said he wanted him to be magnified in his body. I believe there's going to be a people in the earth that is going to be magnified in them. Number two, we found out to praise him and it also goes beyond. We're going to change two a little bit pretty soon here. It means it removes uh, barriers, cultural barriers. It removes cultural barriers. The Cretes and Arabians were praising them. Sixteen nations heard uh, them praising them God or honoring God by the activation of speaking in tongues. Number three, we found out we build up ourselves in our most holy faith. And just, uh, over in uh, Jude, uh, it's only one chapter, verse 20, we're building up ourselves in our most holy faith, which most holy is a little cute connotation. It's a reference to, if you've done any study in the Old Testament, you know, there's a holy place and what? The most, the most holy, holy place. place. And that's, that's the people. And it's not by coincidence, which I could have included, but I knew it would have took me on another rabbit trail because in the Old Testament it talks about the most high God. Mm -hmm. And it's going to say the saints are the most high. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of use that as a companion scripture to mean it's going to be a people that's going to be in the third dimension. Amen. 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 Yeah. Going from God according to the court to the most holy place. But you'll never be able to benefit from it without understanding the ministry of the speaking of tongues. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Number four. It's going to help us to pray. Anybody want to pray? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't ask anybody need But we all need it. That's, I don't even have to ask you, do anybody need prayer? All of us need prayer. So we have, we're able to actually yoke, be yoked with God yes. and be in congruence to the Holy Spirit of, and learn how to cooperate with the Holy Spirit by speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. And it bypasses our natural understanding. Mm -hmm. Five, gives you a rest, a divine rest and refreshing. I mean, we're going to have a divine rest and a refreshing. Yes. I mean, that was a phenomenal teaching. Yes. Uh, I need to get, because I, I, I'm still on that one. Six. We can give thanks to the Lord. We can bless God in tongues, even at the dinner table. Yes. Seven, we found out we can break the mysteries, break the scrolls. Amen. Amen. Eight is gives us the ability to operate in the mind of Christ. I mean, we had a mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had a mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's somewhere on the inside of you. You don't believe it. By being in a new creation, being in Christ, and becoming a new species, you do have the opportunity to have the mind of Christ. Now, you may still be operating on the old systems, <laughs> faulty paradigms, but you have the opportunity to operate with a precision, a precision of the Holy Ghost, which is the mind of Christ. It's a, number nine, we said it's a portal between two realms. It's a portal. So whenever I speak in tongues, automatically I know that it's an open heaven. There's not any sin done by the church that has shut the heavens. You, that, that should make you excited because sometimes you get in bad situations and you need a prayer to get through. It brings great consolation to know in spite of my actions, God is still merciful. <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I'm trying to count it in the spirit while we're clapping. And, and after the other part of the church is like, <laughs> like they never said before. Right. Go ahead, stop, stop with your precious self. You so precious. I never sinned. I never needed the grace of God. He said, if you sin, we have an advocate. Okay. Good luck. Well, let's go to First Corinthians, you guys, 14, 6, and 26. Uh, yeah, I don't see an apostle. Mm. Yeah. You say that when you say you don't say it. <laughs> Mark missing. <laughs> yeah. So we found out. 
Speaking in tongues activate the mysteries of God, open up portals, and give us the opportunity to operate in a new frequency, which is the mind of Christ. Which we're no longer in the earth. We're not of the dust realm. We become a new class of people. That's what it simply means. So I can begin to allow myself, I can veil myself to the kingdom of God through the vehicle called speaking in tongues. Yet, it's not to be consumed upon myself. Amen. It's to be dispersed mm -hmm. within the body. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Speaking in tongues is supposed to be an equal distribution among the body mm -hmm. because there's some grace that God has given us to be to empower the body. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. Now, brethren, if I come to you speaking in tongues, unknown tongues, how should I... Let's amplify it. Well, let's stay there. How should I make it your advantage unless I speak to you either in revelation, <coughs> disclosure of God's will to man, in knowledge, or in prophecy, or instruction. Therefore, we're not just tongue talkers, we're educated as it relates to the ways of the Spirit. Yes, and however the Spirit decides to dictate in a corporate body, in a public setting, privately, uh -huh, I've become accustomed to how He wants to do and how He wants to flow privately. In other words, I've taken the opportunity to develop and build up my spirit man so that when we get together on a corporate level there is a release of his presence and his yeah. power yeah. so it's not just a, 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 a manifestation of might and strength and force because that's what we know about the Holy Spirit we only know him as a one who comes mm -hmm. to, to yeah. heal, deliver you know what I'm saying and we great God on that level but he's, that, he doesn't just operate on that level. He wants to uh, educate us because these different things in this verse and another verse are actually the manifold wisdom of God. So the manifold wisdom of God is prophecy, teaching, instruction, doctrine, psalms, hymns that is distributed to the whole body so that when we come together as a cluster, the body is made whole and healthy. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand, and I told you we can't sell ourselves short on just being able to speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. We got to acknowledge that tongues is, is only the, the key or the, the door or the threshold. Yes. That's a good word. The threshold yes. to the kingdom mm -hmm. is tongues. Mm -hmm. And so we can't just look at the door and be enamored because of we've been given this ability to look at this grand structure of this house. I mean, no, we can be enamored by sight and by, as we look at the magnificence of this kingdom and never cross the threshold and begin to go into the rooms. And that's how we begin to prophesy. We got instruction. We got different manifestations of God's wisdom among the body, corporately. It's not just locked into uh, a, a certain group of people, but all of us have this opportunity. Amen? Yeah. All of us, from the least to the greatest. That's the greatest thing about the new covenant because it's not a biased covenant and it's not full of bigotry. Yeah. It's an inclusive. That's why I hate being barren and, and, and stagnant and, and complacent and, and different uh, mm, mannerisms that we condone we participate in, that we submit to, that won't allow the Holy Spirit to have His work among us corporately. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Among us corporately. Because He is very diversified. Mm -hmm. He is very diversified. Mm -hmm. Very diversified. Yes. He got, He's full of multiplicity, mm -hmm. yes. which is narrow. Mm -hmm. yes. And we got to stop being narrow. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of agitated. I'm in a season now. I'm aggressive in my approach to God, but I'm agitated at anything that don't look like what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. okay. There has to be a match in heaven, made in heaven. Yes. It can't be a solidarity, a, a single voice, a, a solidarity, a, 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 just one voice. It has to be a unison, a uniformity. It has to be a corporate voice. It has to be a, a multiplicity of expression. It has to be, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's got to, it's got to blanket the whole house. It, it has to find a place in everybody's heart. And this is why we need to know. And so we won't have to start uh, being so uh, uh, 
have a tunnel vision and, and, and being mesmerized because of articulation that's coming out of the pulpit or because of somebody academia. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you look down on the person that you're receiving from, and I'm not saying you need to be equal to, but you need to respond to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to respond to. 26. Okay. What then, brethren, is the right course? When you meet together, each one of you have a hymn, teaching, disclosure of special knowledge, information, utterance, uh, interpretation of that utterance. Let everything be done constructive and edifying for the good of all. For who? The good of all. The, the Holy Spirit, said in 1 Corinthians 12, he's given to every man of several, not just a gift, but several. And the church is still trying to find a gift. But he's given us severally. All of us yeah. have an opportunity mm -hmm. to function out of these gifts. Mm -hmm. So we can't sit around with lackluster, passive. Yeah. We need to be, we need to be tenacious. We, we need to say, man, I want those things to be in my life. I don't want it to be sporadic. I don't want it to be random. I want it to be consistent. I want it to become a part of my nature. So these things come because God creates by words, and we need words to be dispensed in this hey. ministry. We shouldn't be silent. Religious spirits wants to shut the eye. It likes to plug our eyes and shut mouths. It wants to make sure you can't see nothing or speak nothing. That's what it wants to do, and it, it is stifle ministries. It's no creative ability because you can't create what you can't see. So, you know, so you have to see it. You have to see yourself flowing in the prophetic. You have to see yourself casting out devils. You have to see yourself laying hands on the sick. You have to see yourself declaring the oracles of God. You got to see yourself running hard under the things of God. You got to see yourself laying aside weights and sins that do it so easily you said you. You have to see it. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to activated in speaking tongues. We need to do it on a consistent basis. It can't be something that's only relegated for a public showing, but it has to be something that we long for privately, and we need to long for it like we long for breathing, like we long for a paycheck, like we long for all the other sensual pleasures that we seek that are only temporary. This mode of operation is eternal. Mm. We're constructing something spiritually that the eyes and ears haven't yet seen. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it can't materialize in the earth realm without first finding a place in us. Amen. So it can be released into the earth. Amen. Amen. I told you there's a whole new frontier out there. There's a spirit world. And because of my reborn human spirit, I have access to that opportunity. He's given me a, a way to legislate the activity in the spirit world through speaking in tongues. I have a way to legislate things in the earth through speaking in tongues. And it can increase. You say, well, I can't read. I can't study. I'm telling you, if you don't have a hunger for the things of God, you need to build yourself a prayer in the holy faith. You say, well, uh, you don't know what I'm going through. No, I don't know what you're going through. I don't want to know what you're going through. Amen. Because we, if we both can't be in the pit. Somebody got to stay out. <laughs> But I know the one who brought me out can bring you out. He's no respecter of a person. Amen. So he wants us to convey his, his goal, his eternal purposes. They're conveyed through ideas, strategies, thoughts, expressions. But it has to be verbal. Amen. Amen. For us to be able to construct it. And the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the speaking in tongues, will give us the, the ability and the capability to release words and thoughts that originated with the living Christ, with him. Yeah. His opinion, his perspective. Yes. Uh 